What is up guys? How are you doing? We made it. We got to 100 subscribers in just one week. That is pretty phenomenal. I cannot thank you enough for all the support that you have given. I have been absolutely blown away by all the kind words that you all have sent me and everyone who's been helping, sharing, um, and just helping me grow this channel into hopefully what it will become. Um, so this is my special thank you video to you all um, for everything that you've done, everything you've said. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, so in commemoration of that today, um, we're going to go through um, a few random bits um, that are pretty old um, and some bits that aren't. Um, I've got these here to go through and then I've got an old shoebox. Now in this old shoebox there is a velvet bag this box, now this um, will be opening up last. Uh, I had a little peek inside, so I, I've got a rough idea that this box contains rare cards. Um, so we're gonna go through that last. And then in this box, in the rest of the box, um, well, it is just chock filled with Pokemon cards. And I'm talking, you know, Pokemon cards and oh yeah old school well not really old school actually I think they're Chinese, Japanese, Asian of some kind I, I, I don't know the difference I'm not that well versed I can't remember which it was that had these backs I'm, I'm gonna go with Japan because I know at the moment they've got the, uh, the pretty awesome backs on the cards that they've got so, um, quite a bit to get through in this video, and at the very end, it would be a video without doing a proper opening. So I've got a few bits here, which we'll, um, we'll get through as well. This video is going to be a bit longer than the rest of them, because we've got a lot to get through. Um, so please do stick with me, and enjoy this, uh, this journey with me through uh, the next, I'm going to say 20 minutes or so. Maybe a bit longer, um, but it should um, should be a lot of fun diving into the past and uh, digging up some of these old memories. A little bit of nostalgia today, so um, let's go. All right, so these are the first things that I showed you. Um, I think these ones here on top are um, cards from um, McDonald's, um, which were available in the kids happy meals for a while so there's um a shatter foil lit in um, a grub in again the same sort of style shatter foil got two of these um crab rollers don't know why um that one's got like a white back in it and that one's got a cardboard back i I haven't got a clue on that one. And then uh, this, this Cosmog, again with the uh, cardboard insert, obviously to keep them straight and in good condition. And then we got these two here. Now this one's a bit obvious from the back what it is. It is the promo card, half foil uh, Detective Pikachu card. See it's got the, uh, the promo there in the bottom. Uh, that came with the Detective Pikachu Blu-ray DVD. And this one, is a Build-A-Bear workshop um, Bulbasaur which you got when you went in and bought one of the, uh, the Build-A-Bear Bulbasaurs. So those are a few things that I found in the same sort of places where I found this large box. Quite a big box, very old. Um, I'm going to take that one out because I want to do that part last. Um, inside this bag 
is just all of the uh, what's called damage counters and uh, coins. There's just uh, lo loads of those in there. Um, yeah, I might just pour those out for a second. Oh, hang on. There is. This metal coin. Not sure what that's from, but it's definitely in that pack with everything else. A few of the other coins in there. I mean, you saw the vile plume. There's uh, this this meowth in there as well. Apologies for it not being in focus. Um, Chancy there as well. And then there's just loads of the little damage counter beads. Damage counters like that. Okay. Inside this box, I would say that that is safe to presume. That is all energy cards on that side. I mean, that was the second edition one there on top, I'm sure. Whatever set that's from. So, uh, we don't need to go through all of those. There's no point in that. Um, I won't spend too long um, going through uh, all of these because there's just absolutely no point. We'll just um, slip through them pretty quickly. It looks like they might actually all be in type order as well, which is pretty handy. <laughs> original fossil and jungle set, original base set, second editions. Lots of those Caterpies. Skip. Oh, pretty awesome Scythers there. See, I don't necessarily remember these cards, and I don't remember put, putting them in this box either. So um, it's all a bit. Uh, it's, all, it's all a bit new to me, really. Um, <laughs> original Bulbasaur, love that. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's uh, on the night there. Um, just going through, and uh, there's a uh, <laughs> the old fossil slow bro. Uh, crazy. That's um, that's pretty awesome. Um, grab the next lot, and again, I'll just uh, quickly snip through these. Don't want to spend too long going through these. I do want to uh, try and keep the video under a certain amount of time. Ah, Team Rocket Squirtle. War Turtle. Not sure what set that's from, but it says at the bottom there, 15 out of 18, and there's no other markings on there for whether it's common or rare. Um, so if you know what set that's from, um, leave a comment below, let me know, because I'd love to find out. Um, what set that's from and what kind of rarity it has. That's pretty awesome, that. Second edition. Uh, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, all the help that I've got had so far has just been absolutely astonishing. Um, really want to grow this channel even more, so um, if you can do your part, I would love that. Original base set Charmeleon. And Arcanine. Oh, bringing back some proper memories, this is. Jungle set Tauros. And the Weeping Bell. I'm going to say this might be the Gym Challenge set. That one's the first edition as well. <laughs> Charmander. Brock's Prime Ape. Uh, Rapidash, one of my favourites. <laughs> oh, honestly, this is just bringing back so many memories of uh, all those years ago. I mean, down the bottom there it says 95 to 2001, so that was a good, what, 19 years ago? So some of these cards are like, you know, 20 years old. <laughs> Don't know why they were where they were. Can't remember when I put them there, why I even put them there. They were in a box inside a box, um, possibly from when I moved house. Dark Quilava, 
awesome artwork on that one. There's just so many cards in this box, I can't believe it. Dark Rider Cake. <laughs> Farfetched, second edition. Sabrina's Porygon, awesome artwork on there. Murkrow. I won't go through too much more of this box because I think you guys get the general idea. Um, I haven't seen anything rare or holofoil pop up so far because I believe, if memory serves, they're all in that blue box. Original base set, Dugong, that one's second edition, but it is an uncommon, whereas in the new Evolutions XY packs, it's now a rare. Yeah. <laughs> awesome artwork on that Haunter. Wow, this is um, this is some really uh, really nostalgic feels right now. Going through all these, <laughs> good old Master Ball. Uh, trip down memory lane. Skip through the rest of these ones now. I think it's safe to say uh, there's nothing particularly interesting. Or rare. I think these ones here are just going to be more of the same sort of stuff. <laughs> Pikachu, second edition, but uh, not the Red Cheeks rare edition one. Togepi. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going through the rest. In the bottom here, that is the Advanced Rulebook version 2. Uh, I'm guessing there's a version 1, obviously, and I believe I have seen a version 3, but I don't know if there's any future versions after that, other than what's been recently released in the uh, more recent sets. And then the uh, the other ones were down here at the side, which I believe were the Chinese or Japanese. I think they're Japanese, because they've got the, uh, the fancy backs on them compared to... Um, which we all know and love, but... That one is uh, definitely a lot different and uh, pretty special. So that's that box. A, a plethora, if you will, of uh, old school nostalgia, old school cards. Um, I, I would love to know if you've still got your collections, old, new. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite card is. Um, one of my favourites is Rapidash. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of favourites. Mewtwo is one of my personal favourites, but uh, I'm a little bit biased with the... Uh, the original film was, uh, and still is actually, one of my favourite films. I know recently they did remake it, um, but it just... It was good, but it didn't quite have that same classic feel as to um, what, the, uh, what the original one did. So there's that one in there. Alrighty, move this out the way gently because that box is probably older than what those Pokemon cards are. Alrighty, moving on to this box. Now, I can't remember, nor do I really know the full extent of what's in this box. I know that there's rare cards in there but I can't remember specifically what those cards are. So I've only got my phone because my computer is still being repaired, which is the most annoying thing in the world. Um, so I can't really show you my face as a reaction, but um, we're gonna go into this box and uh, we're gonna see what's in here. So already this first card that I've spotted here, the condition is just absolutely terrible. There's another bad one there. Um, there's this one card down the bottom here in a, a protector, so I might leave him in there. So I'm, uh, I can only imagine that's going to be something uh, quite rare, so uh, move that box out of the way. Leave that there for the minute. We're going to go through these cards, but that bottom one was in really, really bad condition. So I'll put him on the top and we'll look at that one first. Oi, hey, that is really bad condition with the, uh, the crease and the corners coming up. 
but that was the pre-release Misty Cedra. I can't remember what uh, what made it a pre-release or why it was a pre-release, but um, it is there. If you know what it was or what it was a pre-release for or from, then um, let me know in the comments. First edition Wigglytuff. Yeah, Kogus Pidgeotto. Pseudo Widow. Vile Plume. Electabuzz. Non holographic, all of these, which is uh, a bit concerning, a bit upsetting. A Skarmory. I can only hope that the, uh, the Holofoils are maybe a bit further down in this pack, or this, this bundle if you will, of these old cards. A Sneasel with some pretty cool animation. A Dark Magneton. It's honestly a shame about some of the condition of some of these cards. Um, I mean that one there's a little bit more dark blue as well. Um, just all, all the way all the corners are all worn. It's a shame that they weren't uh, better looked after. So I, I've only got myself to blame for that, I, I think. Um, a Light Ledian. Got they did the light cards. Fossil non holographic hypno. Cleffer from whatever set that is with the two stars. Sabrina's Golduck non holographic. Now this one's got the darker border on it. So, uh, okay. I. don't think that's a real card. I think that's a print fake. Just like about the way it feels and the way that the print is, it just doesn't look quite right. But there we go. I don't even know if that's spelt right at the top for alligator. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that one's fake. Doesn't look right doesn't look real. The print quality on it is just terrible. Oops, sorry for the camera knock there. Fossil set Raichu. Very cool. Brock's Golem. Thought Wave Machine. Rocket's Secret Machine. Non-holographic. But there we go. Unknown X. Is that a rare? Yeah, it's a rare. Okay. Ah, now we're getting some of the originals. The original last trainer card. That was a rare, which pretty much every pack you got it in. And Computer Search was probably the other one that you got so much that you didn't really want. And Devolution Spray, I think, was one of the other ones as well. Pokemon Breeder, probably one of those as well. It was always the trainer cards that you got where you were really hoping for a Holofoil. Giovanni's Last Resort. Okay, guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, um, please make sure to like the video, give it a good old thumbs up, and if you want to see more content in the future, um, Please subscribe to the channel as well. I've managed to get to a hundred likes, a hundred subscribers even, sorry, in, a, in, in just a week, uh, which is incredible growth, um, I, I, I reckon. So um, yeah, thank, thank you all if you've already liked and subscribed to these videos, and if you haven't already, then please do, and welcome to the family. Uh, original base set Electrode. Again, not in very good condition. Pokemon Trader. Oh, the nostalgia on these cards, guys, is uh, quite something. There you go, Suicune. Funny thing, uh, when I was younger, when I was playing the, uh, the Crystal game, and Heart Gold, and, well not Heart Gold, it was Gold and Silver back then, Heart Gold and Soul Silver were the newer ones, but uh, I always pronounce it Suicine. Don't know why. Obviously just didn't read the name of the Pokemon properly, but it was always the legendary dog that I always wanted to catch first, because um, it was my favourite one of the three. Okay, so now we're into some holofoils, I reckon. There we go, original base set, holofoil nine tails. Uh, again, none of these cards are in great condition, sadly, so they're not going to be worth um, 
terrific amounts of money. Uh, they're still worth something. Um, but that's a blast from the past, that is. That Ninetales original base set holofoil. Ah, oh, there we go. Mewtwo, like I was saying earlier. One of my favourites. Loads of scratches on him though. You can see the uh, holofoil card that's underneath is starting to come out down the side as well. Bit of a shame, but still one of my favourites. Next up, Jungle Set Holofoil Vaporeon. Lovely card, again, not very good condition, but what can you do, right? These cards are really, really old. Ampharos, a lot better condition that one. Pretty cool looking animation. One thing I actually, oh look, there's a swirl. One thing you gotta look out for on the holofoils, um, which apparently makes them worth a bit more, like these little swirls in the holofoil, which that one's got just by that antler there. And apparently the swirls make them worth a bit more. I don't know if that's true or not, but from what I've heard, what I've seen in other videos by other Pokemon card uh, enthusiasts on YouTube and such, the swirls, do make them worth a lot more. Okay, so there's the Machamp first edition, which I believe was one from, from one of those um, starter decks. Now there are a few different types of holofoil print for the Machamps. Um, there's, I think this one here, which is one with the stars, and then there's another one with um, circles, which is the Cosmos print and that one is the one that's worth a lot of money because uh, it was on a limited print before it changed to this one Unless this one is a Cosmos print. I'm not too sure doesn't look like it But I might be wrong you guys might be able to uh, tell me otherwise um, If you do know let me know in the comments um, Greatly appreciate the feedback and the help with that one finding out what kind of holofoil that one is uh, A light azumarill I'm looking for one of those swirls. Looks like there was half a one down in the bottom corner, but it's not a full one. Lapras. Very cool. I think that one actually might be worth um, a bit of money. Obviously not in this condition, but if it's the mint condition holofoil Lapras from the original foil um, fossil set, sorry, um, they are worth quite a bit of money. And lastly, Holofoil Raichu from the Fossil Set. Awesome. Right, now, whatever this is going to be, um, I can only imagine that it's something important because it's in this, uh, in this sleeve. Um, I'm, I, I don't know what to expect when I turn this over. Um, Oh my god, oh my god, a Shining Charizard secret rare from I think Neo Destiny set that one is. I think there was um, a, a couple of secret rares in this pack, I mean one of the first packs that had secret rares in it was the Team Rocket set with the Holofoil Raichu which was like 63 out of 62. And then after then, they carried on printing them. As you can see, this one says 107 out of 105, and it's got the three stars in the bottom corner. And the holofoil is only on the Charizard rather than the background. It's sort of embossed as well. Um, that actually doesn't look to be too bad a condition. A few little scratches on the holofoil itself, sadly. But the outline of the card itself doesn't look too bad. Turn him over. Bit of whitening on the edges, sadly. That'll definitely detract from the value. Um, centering doesn't look too bad on the back, actually. I might be tempted to get that one off and graded um, in, you know, um, the highest grade mint gem mint condition. I think this card can reach around a thousand dollars. Um, or maybe just less. I know that the um, the Mewtwo, the Shining Mewtwo that you can get from the same packs um, that they, they fetch if they're um, Beckett graded um, with a black label 10 and they come in like a big plastic case and you get the grading sticker at the top and there's a silver, or the bronze, the silver 
the gold and the black and if it's the black label which is a perfect 10 with the corner ring the condition the center ring um, no scratches etc etc the corners um, that that one can reach about fifteen hundred dollars so um that's actually a really valuable card I'm I'm staggered I'm absolutely staggered I'm gonna put it back in this very dilapidated sleeve um, I'll probably put that into one of the sleeves I got from the Elite Trainer set the other day, so it's a, in a better condition sleeve, so it's not going to fall out the side. But how about that? A shining Charizard. <laughs> I am, I'm gobsmacked. I, I need to be a little bit more excited. I know, but um, I, 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 I struggle to be too excited when I'm um, when I'm when I'm in shock. I, I just, I, I can't bring myself to start screaming and shouting. But uh, if you could see my face, I've got a pretty big smile on it right now. That is quite something. Uh, that's um wow well i told you this video was going to be something special for a hundred and i would say that that was pretty special that box um <laughs> that, that was uh wow is all i can say um but like i said um it wouldn't be an opening without opening some packs of cards um so in my very first video i opened up three of the collector's tins or the mini tins um, with the Mew, the Dragonite, and the Charizard. There are five tins to collect. And these are the other two, which I managed to finally get a hold of. So now I've got all five tins, so they can all look uh, pretty nice together on the shelf. So I have a single Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse pack. Now I think um, I got that one because it was the last one on the shelf when I went to the shop the other day, so I thought, I'll just have it. I'll just get it. And I've also got... This Pokeball, or the Premier Ball, actually. Um, what's inside the Pokeball? There's three packs. Not a clue what kind of packs they'll be, and what sounds to be a metal coin. So, um, look forward to getting into that and finding out what packs are in there. But I'll put them to one side for now, and the tins, and we'll get straight into this Cosmic Eclipse pack. focus there we go there's the code for whoever wants it I know some of you have been using those codes and they've been going pretty quickly almost within the first 10 minutes of the videos going up on my YouTube channel somebody is taking those codes hopefully it's one of my subscribers um, if it is um, let me know in the comments that it's been you that's been using the codes um, I I'd love to know um, card trick I think is three um, or maybe four yeah there we go four I always get the card trick wrong Sorry for that. So we've got ourselves a Metal Energy, and then we've got ourselves a Probo Pass, a Torkoal, Ambipom, Stuffle, Rowlet, Phantump, a Magnemite, a Lillipup, a Reverse Holofoil Common Trap Inch, and a Helioisk uh, non-holographic. Okay, that's, that's that's okay. I was hoping for a holofoil, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, let's get into these tins now. I know this video, like I said, is going to be pretty long. It's probably actually now going to be uh, well over half an hour long. Um, which. I know some of you probably don't want to sit there and watch a video for uh, that amount of time, but if you are, if you're here, then I really appreciate it. Alright, I've got another one of these Entei coins, got a few of those now. And in here, we've got the Crimson Invasion, and the X and Y Evolutions pack, and then the art card inside. Um, the uh, thing on the back's just falling off. What I'll do, to save a bit of time, is I'll just get straight in this pack as well. I won't wait around. There's the NT coin, Southern and Crimson Invasion, X and Y, and then the Mewtwo art card inside. Rightio, we'll um, do the two Crimson Invasion packs first and then we'll do the Evolutions packs because those are my favourites because they've got the original artworks on them again. Um, Fingers crossed for um, a holofoil. 
in one of these packs, uh, the Coup. Um, three cards, add a guess. Four cards, I never learn. Rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Diggersby. Marwheel. Countercatcher. Jangmo O. Carablast. Feebas, looking like he's in a bit of distress. Salandit. Cubone. A Holofoil Common Swablu. And an Alolan Marowak Holographic. Awesome card, that. Tell you what, funny thing. Pokemon Go. Been trying to catch one of these for ages. Every time I manage to get the raid done, I, uh, yeah, and I, I just don't. I either don't get it, or, uh, well, I just don't get it really. <laughs> but there we go. At least we got a hole of foil in that pack. First pack out of those tins. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Get into this next Crimson Invasion pack. Four cards down. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Lightning Energy. The Sea of Nothingness. Sounds pretty doom and gloom. Mill Tank. Ugh, Whitney's Mill Tank. That rollout move on the game. Absolutely diabolical. Just would not stop. Spoink. Oh, we're out of focus. There we go. Ms. Drevis. An incredibly cute Pikachu. Look at that. <laughs> Bless. Chimecho. Magic up with what looks to be like a. Oh, I'm gonna guess Team Rocket sort of magic up submarine behind them. A, another reverse holofoil common Bunnelby, and lastly, a Crawdunt non holographic. Yeah, not to worry, doesn't really matter. It is what it is. Alright, on to these uh, evolutions packs. Now, I think the card trick for these evolutions packs is. Uh, Three. So that's a three. Yep, it's three. I think I've got an idea of what that last bat, what that last card is, but we'll find out when we get there. I just wanted to make sure that was all. Charizard Spirit Link. There's the energy. Machoke. Magikarp. I mean, this whole video has just been absolute nostalgia from start to finish, really, with all these old old pictures on these cards, it just takes me back. Um, if it takes you back as well, uh, if there's uh, anything that you want to let me know, pop it in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content coming up again very, very soon. Um, I intend to drop another video again in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that one. Uh, reverse Holofoil Common Magnemite and Mewtwo, non-holographic. But it's still the rare and it's still Mewtwo, which as I've said to you twice already, one of my favourites. So I'm, I'm definitely happy with uh, with pulling that card. Maybe Raichu will uh, give us a bit of luck in this pack. We'll, we'll see. I did not open that very well. There's the code. And it was three cards. There's the Porygon. Devolution Spray, that was a rare in the original uh, original uh, base set. Ghastly, Diglett, Rattata, good old Charmander, Psychic Energy, Reverse Holofoil Rare Starmie, so that one was an uncommon in the base set, but now it's a rare in this set. And, oh, holy, oh my god, I had to stop myself from saying a bad word then. Oh my god, look at that, that is just an M Evolution Charizard EX card, just look at that, that is absolutely incredible, that last pack out of those tins from that Raichu has just literally dropped me, or us should I say, because this is an us thing, this channel, one of the best cards in the set, look at that Holofoil, that is just absolutely incredible, I am astounded. So Charizard seems to be the theme of this video. <laughs> um, wow, that's definitely going to be uh, going into uh, 
a, a card holder as soon as possible. That is beautiful. Let's check out the centering on the back. Uh, it's a little off uh, top corner there. It's got a thicker border to the other side. Um, bit of a shame, but not a problem. It's got like an embossment on the front as well, which is which is pretty cool. Um, might send that off with the other Charizard to get it graded, if it's even worth doing. I, I don't know. Um, again, let me know in the comments. Look at that. Awesome. Alrighty, now into the uh, the Premier Ball tin. Well, this thing isn't easy to open. It's coming off in layers like an onion. Alrighty. So we got some packs and the coin it isn't metal, the inside of the tin is metal, but oh god. Got ourselves, um, I'm gonna guess that is a uh, Alolan Ninetales. Apologies if the video skips there slightly. I did just have to uh, pause the video for a second as uh, the, the doorbell went. Um, had a parcel from the postman, um, which um, I'll go into at the end of this video. Pretty good timing. Um, so I'm looking forward into getting into that parcel uh, with you guys so I can show you what it is that I've ordered for an upcoming video. Trust me, it's going to be awesome. All right, we'll uh, start from this side and go across that way because that seems to be the way that I've had a bit of luck in the past. Corners of these cards look like they might be possibly bent, but uh, they seem all right actually. Now I'm in the pack. There's a code. Upside down. One, two, three, four. We'll go with four. If the front cards are rare, then I know I've messed it up. Yep, I messed it up. The front one is the rare. So the rare for the pack is a non-holographic full art Metagross. Or Metagross, not Cross, sorry. Pretty cool. Um, I love the art on this card. Um, we'll quickly slip through the rest of this pack. Um, don't want to keep you too long. So we've got Rotom, Lucky Helmet, a Golette, Cottony, Larvesta, Meowth, Gumi, and then another Golex, but that one's a reverse holofoil common. Uh, this uh, is a Burning Shadows pack. From what I remember, there's some pretty uh, pretty cool cards that can be pulled from this pack. Uh, oh, one code for you, ladies and gentlemen. Three cards this time. Won't do the. Uh... Oh no, that one was four. See, I, I can't keep up with what card trick it is for each pack. I, I just can't. It's almost impossible. So you've got Potown, Ribamy. I don't think I pronounced that right. Curlia, a Porygon, Panpour, Pan Sage, Esper, Sock, Reverse, Holofoil, Common Tangler, and a meow stick non holographic. Alright, and for the last pack of this video, I just opened that the wrong way around. Ugh. Sucks to be me for not paying attention. Right, one, two, three, four, let's go with. It's wrong, it's wrong. Nope, rest in peace, fairy energy. My wheel, Diggersby, Fighting Memory, Shellos, Danio. Alolan Geodude, Remoraid, Auron, a Reverse Holofoil Rare, Hydreigon, or Hydreigon, I, I, honestly I'm terrible with pronouncing these names, please forgive me, and lastly, a Miss Magius non holographic Alrighty, so that's all those packs gone through now, um, some pretty cool tins and such, but... This is what has just arrived in the post. Um, I don't think I have anything with me here to uh, to 
cut into it to open it up. Um, I'll go with the pencil. I just broke the pencil. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that did not go to plan at all. Oh, there's another pencil. Let's break another pencil, shall we? I am not doing a very good job at opening this box, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute rookie error. Let's go like this. Let's do it this way. I told you this video was going to be long. But there we go. Trust me, it'll all be worth it in the end. Okay, I'm really struggling to get into this now. You probably sat there laughing. I'm laughing and crying at the same time. Okay, so you can kind of see what's in there. We have a Sword and Shield booster box. That's 36 packs of Sword and Shield and the brand new Rebel Clash uh, collection that has just come out and that is a sealed booster box there as well. Let's just move that up. We... Okay, so there we go. I got them out of the boxes eventually. And there we go, Sword and Shield, Sealed Booster Box, 36 packs, and the Rebel Clash again, 36 packs. So uh, that's going to be for some upcoming content, so I've got some stuff to open up with you guys. Um, yeah, it, it should be a lot of fun. I've got a few other things planned between now and then, but uh, you'll have to like and subscribe to uh, join in with the fun for when it happens. I really just want to say thank you again to everyone um, for helping me get to where I am now. Uh, I know this video is going to be a long one, and if you have managed to stay tuned all the way through, then I genuinely thank you for that, because it's a long video, and to be sat there for this amount of time watching me jabber on is... Um, I I'm thankful. I can't find the words properly right now. Um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with all the support I've had, and also from the pools. Um, that have come out from uh, the the old box of the old cards with the uh, Shining Charizard, which I've now put into um, a better protector. Um, and of course, the, uh, the M Evolution Charizard EX. What a cracking pull that is. <laughs> um, it's going to go into uh, my little binder for now until... Um, until this one is full, and then I might look at getting um, you know, one, of, one of the bigger ones that has the nine on the page. In fact, I might go, once I finish this video, and order one. Um, I, I think the occasion is for it. Um, yeah, it's um, going to be a lot of fun coming up in the next couple of weeks as we make our way through these two booster boxes. I'm looking forward to it. Um, again, Everything I do comes out of my pocket um, for the love of doing it and for the love of you guys as well because I know you wouldn't be here unless you enjoyed Pokemon or you didn't enjoy um, watching people open up packs of cards and once my laptop or if it's not my laptop that's fixed and I have to get a new computer once I've got that you'll be able to see me at the same time as I'm um, opening the cards um, on like a, a, a double screen thing. Um, and you actually be able to see my reaction in my face, like uh, my face when I pulled this uh, EX Charizard. <laughs> I just couldn't quite get the words out or the expression um, to uh, to match what you were seeing, obviously, with it just being my hands. Um, so thank you again. Um, please do like this video and subscribe. It means the world to me to uh, get this channel moving forward to where, it, where I want it to be. Um, thank you all so much. Um, stay safe and uh, see you again soon.